Hey everyone, my name is Christine and I'm a chef here in the McCormick Test Kitchens. Uh, for this week's Cookie Jar Friday recipe, we're going to be making one of my favorite Christmas cookies, which is a cinnamon brownie biscotti. Now this is something that my mom makes every year for Christmas and everyone always loves them. Uh, they're perfect to dunk in coffee or hot cocoa. Um, and this recipe is really great for the holidays because we're going to use a shortcut ingredient. We're gonna take a brownie mix and jazz it up by adding a few um, ingredients to really accentuate and amp up the chocolate flavor, um, including some ground cinnamon and some vanilla extract. Um, so let's get baking. Okay, so in this mixing bowl, I have two cups of flour, and I'm going to add in one uh, family size brownie mix, just the normal. And this is so easy. I, everyone always has brownie mixes on hand, right? Um, and then we're going to add in a third of a cup of cocoa powder. So this is just the unsweetened Hershey's cocoa. And lastly, uh, for the dry ingredients, we're going to add in a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. Okay, so I'm just going to use a whisk um, to mix these together. Um, and this is just a little trick instead of having to sift it, I'm just going to use a whisk and get out any lumps. Sometimes packaged brownie mixes have um, larger chunks in it. So we're just going to give this a quick mix and just combine our dry ingredients together. Okay, perfect. All right, now we're gonna add uh, the wet ingredients to the dry. So I'm going to add in a third of a cup of vegetable oil um, and then a third of a cup of brewed and cooled coffee. Um, now you could use water instead, but coffee really um, accentuates the chocolate flavor, so it's just a little um, trick, I guess. Uh, but again, if you don't have it on hand, that's fine. Um, and then we're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Go. And lastly, we're gonna add two eggs in the bowl. And you could use a mixer for this. I, I like doing it by hand. I think it's easy, one less thing you have to clean, right? So um, I'm going to switch to a wooden spoon and just mix it together. Okay, so at this point, um, the dough has really come together and we're ready to add our chocolate chips in. So I just have two cups of chocolate chips um, and you can, I like the double chocolate, but you can use nuts or uh, dried cranberries, um, a combination of them, different kinds of chocolate chips, whatever you like. So I'm just gonna mix this together. Okay, once your chocolate is incorporated, we're going to divide the dough into two. Um, so I'm gonna bring my sheet tray over here. And I'm just gonna take about half of the dough and just like this, and just kind of like pat it together. Um, and we're gonna make two loaves on our sheet tray. Now biscotti um, in Italian means twice baked. So these cookies are going to bake once as the loaf and then we're going to slice them um, on an angle and then bake them again. So, and I really like making um, the homemade ones because sometimes the store-bought ones, they're so crunchy. Um, so when you make them yourself, you can make them softer, you can make them really crunchy. Um, and then we're gonna decorate them with some melted chocolate and sprinkles too. So a lot you can do with this recipe. Okay, so I have um, my two loaves there. Now I'm just going to um, form them into loaves. And you're looking for about 12 inches, but I always just eyeball it. So they're not really gonna spread out that much. So you want a couple inches in between them, but um, nothing to be super concerned about. And if any chocolate chips pop out, just press them back in, just like this. And just make sure that it's even thickness. That's probably the most important part. I'm just gonna do the same thing with the other one. And you can see all the chocolate chips. Like these are one of my favorites. It's dangerous i only make them around christmas because if i make them during the year i'll definitely eat them all so okay so these look great um and now what we're going to do is bake them i have my, my oven preheated uh, for 300 at 350 degrees and we're going to bake them for about 30 35 minutes until they are slightly risen and firm to the touch Okay, so the cookies have been cooling for about a half hour and, and now they're ready to be cut. And it smells really good in here, guys, I have to tell you. Um, so I'm just gonna pick the loaves up one at a time. Um, and now I'm gonna cut them about um, an inch thick. 
And I always like to do it on an angle, uh, but you can cut it straight across if you want. And so just like this, just make it down. It makes about uh, nine to 10 per loaf. So just about an inch thick. And again, you can make them thinner if you want or thicker, um, just like that. And then I'm gonna put them back on the tray. Now the ends, I always just consider them already done because they're crunchier than the middle. Um, so now I'm just going to take it and put um, each biscotti um, flat side down. And this is um, where I was saying that you can make them as crispy as you want. These I'll probably bake another 10 minutes because I like mine a little bit softer. But you could bake them um, for 20 minutes if you want them to be really crisp, um, kind of like the ones that you would get in the store. So just like that. And do the same uh, with the other one. All right, so I'm just gonna lay these ones on the tray as well, and then back in the oven, um, same 350 degrees, about 10 minutes, um, and then we're gonna let them cool and decorate them. Now that the biscotti have cooled for a second time, it's time for the fun part. We're going to decorate. Um, I have some melted white chocolate here, uh, but you can do milk chocolate, dark chocolate, um, even peanut butter, really just whatever you like. And I'm just going to spoon over a little bit. You can drizzle, you can use a piping bag, however fancy you want. I like the homemade look, <laughs> obviously. Um, and then I'm just gonna do some sprinkles, but um, you could do different nuts, um, cranberries, more chocolate chips, whatever you want. Um, and so I have a few other varieties here that I made earlier. I always like to do a combination because then everybody um, can pick their favorite, um, but sprinkles, nuts, different chocolates. Um, very easy and simple. I really hope you guys um, try this recipe and enjoy it. Be sure to tune in next week for another Cookie Jar Friday. For more recipes and inspiration, please visit McCormick.com. Merry Christmas.